Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crumwell. Officials in York County want to lift people up instead of locking them up. Seth Kaplan live in York with more on this new program. Good afternoon, Seth. Hey, James, how are you? What you said there, uh, those words, lifting people up rather than locking them up, those were actually the words of York Mayor Michael Helfrich here just a little while ago. He was one of several people sitting here in this library at the York Hack Campus announcing a new scholarship program for people who, well, let's just say people you might not think of as folks who typically win scholars, uh, college scholarships. We're talking about people who were not at the top of their high school class, to say the least, who might even have just gotten out of jail. Folks who get these scholarships will have all of their hack expenses covered, not just tuition, but even books, the laptop, computer, all of it. It's called the More Graduations, Less Funerals Opportunity Scholarship. What does that mean? exactly what it says. It's very self-explanatory. More graduations and less funerals. You give someone an opportunity, they're going to cross the stage. You know, um, when we don't give them, them opportunities, they're going to jail and we're burying them. So when we give people opportunities and we give them uh, a reason um, and, and hope to get out of poverty, well, we don't have to go to as many funerals. And Tiff Lowe there has her own personal story about second chances. We'll have that for you coming up tonight beginning at five. Also, if you or someone in your life you think might be eligible for the scholarship, we'll tell you how to apply. And, and some, some of the folks here who worked on this program have very different political beliefs about crime and punishment and that sort of thing, yet they came together on this. That's an interesting story, too. Again, one we'll have for you coming up tonight, beginning at five. Right now, live in New York County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News. James. And altogether, though, Seth, you know, you've been covering this for a while as well, that York has really been trying to put efforts into place to cut back on violence, and especially gun violence. And this seems like it could just be one more way to do that. Yeah, and, and folks here, and I sort of alluded to it, you know, we, uh, District Attorney Dave Sunday, a Republican, was here. You had York Mayor Michael Helfrick, Police Commissioner Michael Muldrow, folks from a generally a, a more liberal city uh, that, in terms of the punishment versus uh, um, uh, rehabilitation debate, tend to fall more on the rehabilitation side. A and yet they all said, hey, look, something's working here, and maybe it's some combination of everybody's ideas. And so they say this could be just another thing that could be an example uh, of, of how to, uh, again, sort of set aside the things that nobody's going to agree on on both ends of the spectrum and, and work on something that they can all agree on. Because what they said, hey, look, this is just efficient. If you can spend between six and ten thousand dollars a year educating somebody instead of forty thousand dollars a year or more incarcerating them, which is what uh, DA Sunday estimated that cost, uh, that's something that nobody's going to argue with. Absolutely, and we'll look forward to seeing the rest of your story and all those details coming up tonight, beginning at five. Seth Kaplan, live in York. Thank you so much for that.